Holy cow. Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. Today I'm out on the water in my boat and I want to tell you how you could catch three times more fish. So let's get into it. So my goal is today was to get out and catch some panfish, which I did. I got my basket here. And to do that, typically, you know, a person would either use a float or a bobber and a hook and wait. Well, according to Indiana's fishing regulations, you can use up to three single hooks on one line. So in theory, that could increase your odds of fishing by three times. So I actually caught a couple doubles on this setup, which is three jig heads, single hook jig heads on one bobber line. And I caught a couple doubles and I caught one triple. I actually got it on camera for you guys, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but what I've been doing, and it really doesn't matter for any species of fish, at least here in Indiana, so check your local laws and regulations, like I said, but we are allowed to fish with three single hooks on one line. So again, in theory, that would increase your odds of catching a fish. Uh, actually, it could increase your odds by three times and make you catch three times the fish instead of just one fish because you have one hook on the line normally. So let me tell you some good things about this rig. No matter if you're catching three fish at a time or not on one line, uh, you're having bait at different levels of the water. So the very last hook, with, you're having the bait on the bottom. The very middle hook, you're having the bait about middle of the water. And the top hook here, you're having it more towards the top of the water. So you're having, you know, bait scent and everything in different levels of the water for different you know fish and species to be caught so today i actually been catching the most on the middle hook panfish have been tearing it up on the middle hook so it must be you know it must be right at the very top of the bottom of the pond out here because the last hook here is on the bottom so they were tearing it up today uh, I was actually catching them left and right, like I said, and the double that I caught, I think uh, the doubles that I've caught, they were mostly on the bottom here. And uh, bluegill and shell crackers or red ear sunfish, but like I get, like again, I, you know, different levels of water. Uh, so hook on the bottom, hook in the middle, and a hook on the top of water can increase your odds because you're having different scents. Uh, bait you can actually put different baits on each hook I've been using red worms pretty much all day today um, that's about it really now the cons of this setup is you're using three times more bait but again if you're buying worms and you don't use them all because you're not catching the fish what's it matter at the end of the day anyway because you spent that money on a dozen of worms when you can be increasing your odds by putting three worms on uh, or whatever how much worm you want on each hook and having that scent and that bait at different levels of the water so well everybody i hope you enjoyed this video please rate you know like subscribe if you haven't already uh, first time i've actually come out on the water and did a video this year i've been trying to get out as much as possible it's just been getting really hot today it was really cooled off and i figured i'd get out and get in the water get on the water to get some fish so but uh, again, guys, I hope you liked the video. And like I said, follow your local laws and regulations wherever you live at. Uh, like I said, in Indiana, we're allowed to use three single hooks per one line, which chances are yeah, can increase your catch by three times. So, you know, three fish on one cast, that's pretty good odds to me. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.